Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel High Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting cubic equation from Andrew's examination. We have x square minus x cube equal to 1 and we need to find our x. If you have your answer, your solution, you can also write your solution down into the comment section and in a few minutes we will check it. So first of all, I'm going to write this one on the on the left side. So let's try to solve it, okay? I'm going to write this one on the on the left side. So we have x square minus x cube and minus 1 is equal to zero, but we prefer a, diff a little bit different order. Let's write this x cube on the first position. So for this, let's change an order a little bit. <clears throat> As a result, we have minus x cube plus x square and minus one equal to zero. Minus one is equal to zero. And the final step, let's multiply both sides by minus one because we need to. We don't need this minus in the beginning, so multiplying both sides by minus by minus one. As a result, our equ equation gonna looks like x cube minus x square and plus one and plus one equal to equal to zero right now all the time i try to check this i try to check a root by inspection let's see what will happen for example the check uh, like x equal to one and x equal to and x equal to minus one let's see what will happen so if x is equal to one x is equal to one what do we have as a result when we plug in it we have one cube minus one square and plus one this is equal to, we have 1, minus 1, plus 1, this is equal to 1. So as a result we have equal to 1, but this is not equal to 0. So this is not a correct order. But let's check, for example, x equal to minus 1. Maybe we have, we have a, we're going to have a correct uh, answer. So if x is equal to minus 1, as a result, what do we have? We have minus 1 to the third power, minus, minus 1 to the second power and plus one. What do we have as a result? Minus one cube equal to minus one. So as a result, we have minus one, minus, minus one square equal to one. So we have minus one, minus one and plus one. This is equal to, equal to minus one. Minus one is not equal to zero. So as a result, we can solve this question by inspection. So let's think a little bit about different methods how can we how can we solve it so for this method i'm going to use a substitution this is our second step so let our substitution looks like that so let x equal to equal to t plus one over plus one third t plus one t plus one third and let's plug in instead of uh, this x let's plug in this um, t plus one over three in our in our equation so our equation looks like that so we have x cube minus x square plus one is equal to is equal to zero so instead of this x let's plug in this t plus one over three but we can easily find real quick what uh, x square going to be equal to and what x cube going to be equal to so for this let's find for example x square real quick and then we're going to plug in it without any problem so x square equal to uh, t plus one over three we're going to raise this to the second power as a result what do we have according to a um, basic school formula we have t square plus 2t over 3 2t over 3 and plus 1 over 9 plus 1 over 9 this is our x x square second thing we are going to find real quick our x cube and then we're going to plug in it okay so we have as a result we have x cube equal to t plus 1 over 3 we're going to raise these to them Mm, to the third power. As a result, what do we have? According to a binomial formula, we have t cube uh, plus t square plus t square plus t over 3 t over 3 and plus 1 over 27 1 over 20 1 over 27. And right now let's plug in each of these each of this expression into this spot. So instead of x cube, we're gonna plug in this expression. Instead of x square, we're gonna plug in mm, we're gonna plug in this expression. Let's do this right now. As a result, what do we have? Instead of x cube, we're gonna plug in this one. So as a result, we have t cube plus t square plus t over three plus t over three and plus one over one over twenty seven. This is our in expression instead of our x cube, and instead of x square from here, we're gonna plug in this expression. So plus minus. Instead of x square, we have t square plus two t over over three and plus one over one over nine. And in the end, we have plus one. So plus one is equal to zero. Right now, let's simplify this real quick. Let's open our parentheses. So as a result, what do we have? We have t cubed. So uh, the first expression without any changes. So we t cubed plus t square plus t over three and plus one over twenty-seven and minus t square minus two t 
over 3 and minus 1 over 9 plus 1 equal to equal to zero let's see what we have in common right here so as a result we have t square and minus t square so we can easily uh, cancel real quick our our t square and what do we have as a result let's start with this t cube we have only one t cube so let's start with that so our t cube t cube what do we have with the with the t we don't have a square so as a result we have t over 3 and minus 2 t over 3 so plus uh, i'm gonna group it with parentheses so t over 3 t over 3 minus 2 t over 3 2 t over over 3 and what do we have with the constant plus from here 1 over 27 1 over 27 minus 1 over 9 and plus 1 minus 1 over 9 and plus 1 plus 1 is equal to is equal to 0 let's simplify this real quick we can easily mm, simplify the expression in a parenthesis right here and right here so we have t cube plus t over 3 minus 2t over 3. So as a result, we can easily uh, write it as minus uh, t over 3, minus t over 3. We have in this parentheses. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to simplify this expression right here. So we can easily, mm, I'm going to write it, uh, I have enough space, so I'm going to simplify this expression right here on the, on the right side. So as a result, we have common denominator, we have 27, yeah, 27, and as a result, we have 1 minus 1 minus 3 and plus right here we have 27 over 27 we can write our 27 in our in our numerator and from here we have 1 minus 3 we have a minus 2 minus 2 plus 27 we have 25 over over 27 so our constant is equal to 25 over uh, 27 so plus 25 over over 27 is equal to is equal to 0 right now we can easily uh, multiply our um, we can easily change this sign by a negative because we have plus minus we need to write it as a negative one so t cube minus t over 3 and plus 25 over 20 27 is equal to 0 okay and the next thing let's multiply both side by um, or let's find our or let's multiply by uh, by 27. Let's multiply both sides by uh, 27. Or let's write our uh, let's write uh, let's find our common denominator at first, without any changes. It's it's easier for us to find a common denominator 27. And right here we have mm, 27 t cube, 27 t cube. Because there are a lot of ways how can we solve it. First of all, I'm gonna find a common denominator minus. Right here we have 9 t. 9t and plus 25 from here so plus 25 is equal to is equal to zero this is our common denominator and of course when a fraction a fraction is equal to zero when a numerator equal equal to zero or denominator equal to a denominator is not equal to zero in our case we have 27 everything is great so only one case with this equation have root when our numerator is equal to zero so our equation is looks like that so our equation looks like that we have 27 t cube minus 9t and plus 25 is equal to is equal to zero so this is our second step so i really hope you understand how can we get this this equation but how can we solve it this are a basic school uh, this are a basic cubic equation so we can easily find this equation with the with the cardano formulas but we need to mm, prepare this equation we need to rewrite it in a little bit different uh, different way we can we need we need to write it in that way t cube plus p times t and plus and plus q we need to perform this we need to rewrite this question in in that way so for this we need to divide both sides by uh, 27 so let's do this let's divide both sides by 27 and when we divide it we're gonna have t cube t cube minus 9 over 27 t 9 over 27 t and plus 25 over 27 25 over over 27 is equal to is equal to zero let's simplify this real quick we can easily divide we can easily um, divide numerator and denominator by three as a result we have t cube minus one third one third t and plus 25 over 27 is equal to is equal to zero and from here from here we can easily say that p is equal to minus one third this is our mm, p minus one one third and q is equal to this our coefficient right here so 25 over over 27 and as i said before we're gonna solve this question with the with the cardano formulas so right now let's get closer and closer how can we 
how can we solve this question with the uh, with the Cardano formulas? And first of all, we need to start with the with the discriminant. So let's start with the discriminant. I'm going to solve this discriminant right here. So our discriminant is equal to our discriminant looks like that. So we have q over uh, q over two to the second power and plus p over three to the third power. This is our discriminant and let's plug in each of these elements into this spot. As a result, what do we have? Q over 2, Q equal to 25 over 27. So we have 25, 25 over 27. And we're going to divide it by 2. We're going to raise this to the second power and plus P over 3, P equal to minus 1 third. So we have minus 1 third, minus 1 third uh, divided by, by 3. To the power to the power three so we have three uh, looks like three lawyers so we have 25 over 27 we're going to divide it by two how can we simplify it we just need to mm, rewrite this 27 in our denominator so we just need to multiply 27 by two and right here we're going to divide uh, three by three so as a result we're going to have 27 over uh, 27 over 54 so we have 27 uh, we have, we're going to have 25 yeah we're going to have 25 25 over 54, 54 to the second power, to the second power, and minus right here in our, in our parentheses because we're going to have minus because we have third power. It means that we have odd power, so we can't uh, remove this negative uh, negative sign, so we have a negative uh, sign at the, right here at this place, and one third divided by three equal to one over nine, so one over nine to the power to the power three. Okay, let's simplify this real quick. So 25 uh, over 54 to the power 2 equal to uh, 625 divided by 2916. And we're going to subtract from here 1 over 9 to the power 3 equal to 1 over 729. 700, uh, 729. Let's find real quick our common denominator. Uh, our common denominator is going to be 2916. From here, we're going to have 625, 625. But from here, we're going to have 4, because at 2916, we can easily divide by 629, so minus 4. And let's let's simplify this. So as a result, we have 621. We're going to divide by 2900, 2916. We can easily divide it by 3. So we're going to divide by 3. We're going to divide our uh, numerator and denominator. So what do we have? We have 207 over 970, 72. And this expression we can divide by 9. This expression is divisible by 9. We can divide it by 9, uh, our numerator and denominator. So our discriminant is equal to 23 over 108. So our discriminant is positive. So it means that we have one real, real number root, at least one. So we have real number root. We have we have it and it's also it's also really great and right now let's move on uh, to the formula how can we um, how can we find our our real number root so our t uh, let's uh, let's leave it like that okay let's continue so our t is equal to let's move on to the formula so our t is equal to we have cubes root cubes root uh, of minus q over 2 q over 2 and plus square root of discriminant square root of discriminant and plus cubes root of a 2, cubes root of minus q over 2 and minus square root of square root of discriminant. We know everything. We know that our mm, p is equal to minus 1 third and our q is equal to 25 over over 27. We know everything about it. So right now, let, right now let's plug in and moreover we know <coughs> we know a discriminant. So our t is equal to cubes root of Minus q over 2, we have minus 25 over 54, 25 over 54, plus discriminant plus square root of 23 over 108, 108, and plus we have square root of, cubes root of, sorry, yeah, we have cubes root of, <coughs> minus q over 2, we have the same thing, we have minus 25 over 54, minus 25 over 54, of minus <coughs> square root of 23 
over 108, 108 of, of, of our discriminant. Yeah? And right now, when you plug in this expression in a calculator, because without a calculator it's kind of impossible to solve this question, because we have cube's root, it's it's so complicated to solve this question on, on the paper, it's it's going to be long, a long video. So t is approximately equal to, is approximately equal to minus 1.0888. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, this is our t. And let's go back to a substitution because we need to find our x, but x equal to, from the beginning, x equal to t plus one one third. So from here we can easily find we can easily find our x. So x equal to minus one point zero eight eight plus and this is we can easily write it as a, as a in a decimal way, so zero point three 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 and this is approximately equal to minus 0.755 and this is only one uh, root right now we can see a graph you can see this uh, you can see this point of uh, intersection of course you can easily check this uh, answer in your in your calculator and you can easily see uh, the, uh, the same thing okay so this is my solution to this question let's write our answer let's write our answer this is looks like easy question I'm, I'm not gonna lie this is <clears throat> looks like easy question we have x squared minus x cube is equal to one so it's not the fourth power it's not the fifth power we have only one on the right side so it looks like easy question but in the same way as you can see we can't solve this question with the cardano formula so this cubic equation yeah and we need to learn these uh, formulas okay so our answer to this question our answer x is equal to approximately equal to minus 0 0.755 this is an answer uh, to our question you can easily check it when you plug in it instead of x and uh, instead of x when you plug in 0 0.755 you will have <coughs> the same the same uh, answer you have the same one so thank you everyone for your time i really hope you understand my solution you can also write your um, questions down into the comment section let's discuss a little bit about this question this is not that easy i'm not i'm not gonna lie this is not the easy question because according to a cardano formulas you need to figure out how to work with the cubes how to find a discriminant you know this is not uh, the question with the second power this is not x square we have x cube so it's like a little bit different yeah so thank you everyone for your time i really hope you understand my explanation i really hope you understand my solution so See you in the next videos. Have a great day and take care of yourself.